Yo, Kaz here, and welcome back to Such Art. And we haven't done any viewer suggestions here in quite a while, and I, I feel really bad about it, but I, I'm sorry, guys. I've been busy. I've been busy doing things. I've been saving the world and stuff. That's right. You you heard me, Petbot. I, I'm a verified superhero. Why, where'd you get the bunny ears? I forgot that I put that on you, and, and you're all pinkified. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. So that's right. We're back today doing viewer suggestions here after a long hiatus of that. And today's suggestion comes from Fate underscore B. It says, if you could, can you do Nico from One Shot? They're one of my favorite characters. I assume you mean characters, but uh, yeah, 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 we're, we're going to do that. We're going to do that, okay? Now, I'll be honest. I, I actually had no idea what One Shot is or who Nico from One Shot is, but, uh, you know, I, I pull it up here and wow, there's a lot of fan art of this character and it looks incredible and amazing. We're not going to copy one, uh, you know, one to one directly, but I think this gives me enough of an idea of what the character looks like here that we can do kind of our own style of it. So we're actually going to use a large canvas for this one. I, I, I haven't done a large canvas here in a long time. Let's go with the large one to one square canvas and and see it come up oh wait oh, i forgot can i can't i ride this can't i ride that up can i ride it i i tried i tried okay bless my heart i tried but there we go quite a large canvas uh let me go ahead and grab the pencil here see if we can start on somewhat of an outline i think we're gonna do uh, uh you know me i like really stark contrast so i think we're gonna do a black background and then we'll try to do some pretty bright colors and then uh, you know maybe a little bit of you know fade shadow around the outside you know as if things are kind of fading into the darkness and so we'll do the, the the light orb thing i don't know i don't know the game uh you know it kind of looks like a light bulb i don't know I, we'll, we'll try to figure it out but let's start with our outline at least I think this is going to be the orb thing down here. I know we're not talking a lot while we're doing the outline. I, I hope you see what we're doing, though. I mean, we got kind of the face. You know, we got the, the, the scarf here, the the, the shirt or, or jerkin. We're nailing all the main elements, okay? And we're doing an, an extreme close-up. We're doing our own style for it because, you know, it is my channel after all. Mm, I feel like that ear is not quite big enough yet. Right, we, we need to scratch that. Let's do it again. the rest of the hat i think so we'll kind of do this here because we'll, we'll imply kind of a crease there in the middle i think that'll be good i think these need to go more up i mean not that you're going to be able to see much of the hat up here anyways but we need to imply the the height of it yeah i think that'll be good all right now time for some facial details and hair and hair we need that hair this might be a little bit too close because we're going to miss like some of the uh, apparently the the iconic things you know here such as like three tufts of hair on each side but i i think this will be good i think this will still imply very well who it is that we're doing That looks good. Okay, I think actually... Oh, no, 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 hair. Duh, I need hair. Whoa. So there you go. I think we're going to start with our background now, and then we'll fill in. Now, silly me, I could have just spray painted the whole background black, but, you know, here we are. We're, we're doing it this way. It's been a while since I played such art in, in this way, so... Give me a break. Have you played the game One Shot? I don't know. It looks like it's been out for quite a while. I, I, I've never even heard of it. I, am I a bad gamer person because I've never heard of this game? Looks like it's right up my alley too, but I don't know. It's been out a couple years. I feel like I missed the boat. I don't know. It, it, is, is it even viable anymore to play it? I don't know. Probably is. Who am I kidding? But life is just so busy. I can't buy every game that looks like it looks good. I'd be, I, I, I would have no money and no time on my hand to do other things like eat and poop. <laughs> uh, we just had to find a way to sneak poop into the conversation, didn't we? Oh, okay, can you, wait, am I missing something? Can you go down? What the hell is going on? Okay, literally, why is my down elevator button not working? Is there something stuck down here? Oh, it's you. Okay. Uh, we fixed it. So, you know, that's good. Where's my next size brush up? What? I bet I took it to the warehouse and I never returned it. Blech. Well, that just means that we got to go shopping. Let's see. Where's my brush? Where? Where is it? Is it this one? I, I, I think it's that one. No, it's this one. I don't know, let's buy them both just in case. And while we wait for our brushes to arrive, now is a good time to remind you of today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is gonna be, you guessed it, the like button. If you're enjoying this video, hit that like button down below and do consider subscribing because, you know, 
it's awesome. This channel is awesome. And I want you guys to enjoy it. And, and I want to enjoy it. I enjoy it when you guys enjoy it, okay? Your happiness brings me happiness. Yeah, that's right. I'm like Mother Teresa of YouTube. I just compare myself to Mother Teresa. Wow, this video is going awry. But really though, I know it's cliche that every YouTuber says that, but it, it does help the videos so much when you do like and uh, comment on the videos here. It helps the algorithm, helps, uh, you know, expose the videos to more people. And if you do like what you see, I mean, we put out videos each and every week. So go ahead and subscribe because, uh, hey, chances are if you like this one, you're going to like all the rest of the, you know, hundreds of videos that we're making as well. <laughs> hundreds, dang. Weird to consider that we've made, well, I, I don't know, am I at 200 videos yet? Probably. Pretty close. I don't know. It has been a wild ride making content though. I've learned a lot. I've met a lot of great, interesting people. We've developed, you know, such a cool community on Discord. And uh, I don't know, I can't thank you guys uh, enough for, for making the channel what it is today. I didn't, I didn't mean to get all sentimental on you and, and sappy. I just, I just love what I do so much. Well, I love when I do this. I, I have a day job because YouTube doesn't pay the bills, but I would much rather do this. This almost seems like I'm trying to find the least efficient way possible to, to, to cover this in black. Wow, it really should not take this long. I, I should have just done the whole thing black before I did my outline. Even after I did the outline, I probably could have like been like, nah, you know what, let's actually cover it all in black and then redraw the outline. That probably still would have been quicker than what I'm doing right now. Ugh. But hey, we're committed now. What are you going to do? Eight hours later. Well, we're gonna use a SpongeBob transition to jump ahead. What, did you think that was a rhetorical question? Now that we have the black outline done, or the, or the black background, excuse me, I, I, we gotta start here on the rest of the painting. I think we need to start first with the skin tone here, and then we'll, uh, you know, work our way out from there. So let's go ahead and make some color selections. So I think for a lot of this, I actually, I, I, I want to do something a little bit different here. Well, maybe not a little bit different. This is going to be like a huge light source. So there's going to be, it's going to cast, you know, a, a lot of highlights and then shadows, you know, on various parts, you know, such as the hair and, and the facial features and, and well, hey, even the scarf and the hat, I guess, too. So uh, I think what we're going to do here is we'll select something a little bit more saturated. I think the, the color of the ball is going to be like down here. It's going to be like super saturated yellow. But I think for the edge here, maybe uh, like the, the high highlight part that's going to be like around the face. I think we'll go with a little bit more saturated, like maybe right here-ish. I think that'll be good. Let's go lighter, even lighter. There we go. I think I'm actually going to want one more even darker for shadows as well. I mean, just for stuff like on, on the neck mainly. Let's see if we can make the rest of our selections as well here. I think that works as the full palette. I think that works. Oh, well, except for the mouth and the eyes and, and that. Yeah, we'll do all those after. But first, let's start with the skin tone. I, let's start with the neck here first. The neck is going to be somewhat like this. My god, this brush sucks us at coverage. <laughs> Man. But what we're gonna do here is to have, you know, two different color variations, wet it up and then blend them together. So we are gonna do, you know, just flat blocky clo colors, cl colors, whatever. What am I trying to say here? We're not doing blocky colors. Colors, uh, why am I having such a hard time saying that word? Colors, colors, like this. The, uh, this, uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Blending stick, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I just don't like the way this thing blends. I don't know. I, 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 I'd like the other blender more. It even adds like a little bit of texture to it, but it's just not thin enough, you know, to get this thin of a, a of a neck area. So, grr, work with what you got. Okay, that's actually not bad. I actually kind of do like the way that blended. I'm sorry for talking smack, blending stick. Let's see if we can get the rest of the face here. I think we're gonna do, we'll do this very dark stuff here up top try to have it as a line well actually dang we're not even gonna do that much of it really it's just gonna go just like that that's really all we're doing at this darkest and go the next color i think this one will have be i think a yeah cut across maybe the nose area let's see feels kind of weird that i'm not doing like any sort of like facial contours you know like uh 
you know, any sort of shadows around like you know the orbital sockets or things like that or uh, you know cheekbones but I don't know it's not really what uh, I, I mean all the the images you know that I see don't really have that so we got to keep it somewhat uh, you know somewhat uh, similar to OC right it just takes me out of my element which is good I mean as an artist you, you should get out of your element every once in a while God, I hate that brush is there something better I mean this is bigger I think I don't know let's see yeah we use this And the next color. Woo. And then the final one, the yellow highlight here, just along the bottom edge. Oh boy, I did not realize how difficult this might be. need to make it a little bit thicker not too thick though Maybe we're gonna bring it up higher too yeah I think, that, I think that's a good idea good idea all right I might end up uh, going over that one more time after we blend but I think that's good I think that's good start for now now we'll go ahead and do the same thing here with blending that we did before I'll just start with this side and see what happens Okay, this is not blending that well and I'm kind of hating it. Like, as you can tell, I, I, I went up and down a lot because I kind of wanted to spread both colors, you know, into, into each area a little bit here before I started doing the horizontal blends, but I can't get rid of the vertical lines now. And it kind of makes it look like doo-doo. Amazing that I have like 300 hours in this game and I'm still like, I make like such huge mistakes like this. I, I, as if I don't know what the tools do. Like I do, I'm just out of practice. Ugh. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like it's not that bad, except like, except for these vertical lines. Like, I really can't have those vertical lines here. Like those ones that are going this direction right there. Man, like this would look good if it if it wasn't for those, you know? Yeah, I I, I hate to do it, but I, I'm gonna have to start this part over. Okay, there we go. I think that I think that brings us back. Let's try it again here. We'll wet it up. Let's just try just horizontal at first. Yeah, okay. I, I actually, I, I think that looks good. I think we were just trying to take a shortcut before. It just wasn't working out for us. So I, I think we'll stick with this. Now that we know, we can just finish the other side. Yeah, that looks good. I'll just blend some of this highlight. I just I, I don't want to do this so much because I, I got to keep a lot of that lightness towards towards the bottom. So we'll just do this very subtly. Dang. Okay. I actually think that glow worked out really nice. I like it. I like it. I think now that we have a good method here and you know a good idea of what we're doing, I, I think we can move along pretty quickly. Right. Right. So here we'll see about getting the shirt next. Not taking too long now, right? Right. That looks good. That looks good. I like it. Now for the next bit of layer, we can do, I think the, yeah, we can do the scarf and the hair. It's going to be the same color, so that'll make that part nice and easy. Beautiful. What do you think we do first? I say scarf. Let's do scarf first. So it's a little interesting because I have these colors here to work with, and this is going to be our highlight color that we're going to do on the edge of the hair. I don't know if I need to do that on the scarf though. I feel like we should, but I don't know. But it, the scarf is already going to be so close to the ball. No, you know what? I, I got another idea that we'll do towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, we got something else. Don't worry. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. For now, I just think we do this. I'm not great at fabric, so I'm just kind of winging this. I'm hoping that, I don't know, as I blend things together, we can 
kind of imply better folds than we are right now. Uh, it's not looking great. It's not looking great right now. Then again, you guys aren't here for greatness, right? I mean, if you are, ooh, you're in the wrong spot. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm, a, I'm the best at this game. I'm a, I'm a dang master. I'm a dang master, okay? Grandmaster, champion, plat three such artist. There we go. That's my rank. I gotta do something with markers one of these days. I mean, this game has markers and I, I, IRL. I love making art with markers. It's one of my favorite mediums. Just nice, thick, bold, high contrast, high saturation lines. Oh, it's beautiful. Like even the way I paint in this game, I mean, I, I, I almost paint as if I'm using it like markers. And then I, you know, I, I blend because it's, you know, it's paint, I feel like I should, but yeah. I think the next painting we do, we're gonna try with markers. I think that's a good idea. I mean, here, where are they? Uh, look at, they come in a beautiful box. I mean, look at that, look at that beautiful box. That's such a beautiful box. Yeah, next time, next time, not this time, next time. Well, that's not great for, uh, you know, fabric folds, but we'll blend it, see what we do. Okay, yeah, there we go. I actually think that works perfect. It, it just close your eyes and imagine the most perfectest piece of scarf fabric ever made. And that's it. And then open them. And, they, and this isn't it. But if you close your eyes and imagine it being perfect, then it's, oh, it's beautiful. Ha 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 ha, Kaz, you're such a goof. All right, well, time to get the hair done. This will be nice and easy, I think. I hope. I don't know. I say that. And then watch it not be easy. Oh, man. I just cursed it, huh? Oh, that purple and yellow, making some good contrast. And not gonna lie to you, this painting is taking me a lot longer than I thought it was gonna. I'm liking it though. I mean, I'm proud of the composition that we came up with, proud of how it's going, the color schemes, or the palette, I guess. I don't know, I think we've made good palette selections. I don't know, just overall, I think it's coming along nicely. I, th I think it's good. Oh, oh man, who's the idiot that said that the hair would be quick and easy? Ugh. Well, the hair is neither quick nor easy, so, you know. But I think it will look good. It'll look good when it's done. We're getting there, though. One stroke at a time. A little paint here, a little paint there. Well, at least you guys got all this great music to jam out to while, uh, while you're watching it, right? I mean, I don't. I'm not listening to music while I record. I, I, I can't. It, it would mess up the recording. So I, I had I had all the music in post. Bet you guys didn't know that. Now you know. I just get to hear the beautiful sounds of the birds chirping and Petbot mining me money. Which I'll be honest, he's a little loud. I might have to move him. Kind of irking me a little bit. think that would be it, but no, you would be wrong. Remember, we gotta take this highlight color that we made. It won't be much, but just a little bit here. We'll go a long way. There we go, and I think the last thing that we gotta do is just thicken up some of these shadow lines again. Kinda of lost some of them here when we butted up against them with the other colors. Not really that big of a deal, but gives us a little bit more definition there to blend. Oh man, that's looking good. It's gonna look so good after we blend it too. I think if I had to do this over, I think I would blend all of the, uh, you know, the, the, the purple violet hues, and then I think I would go back and I would add the highlight to the edge and then blend that. I think that would, would have been a lot better plan, but you know, you live and you learn. It's still looking good either way. I mean, I really actually like these smudges a lot. The, these smudges are working out well. I wasn't that much of a fan at first, but it, it's coming along nicely now. We 
do actually want to get some black here and just go through, just clean up some of this a little bit here, very quickly, very smoothly. Just a couple places where I got a little sloppy with the blending. Now just the hat, eyes, mouth, and globe, and wow, that's still kind of a lot to do. Whew. Let's get to it. Holy crap, look at how quick I got that done. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So, uh, I, I tend to record in segments, especially for longer videos like this, uh, you know, and take a little break, go and eat dinner and come back and yada, yada, yada. However, when I came back and did this one, I started recording, I painted the hat, I had the most hilarious jokes you've ever heard in your life. Then I ran out of disk space and the recording got corrupted. So, you just missed out on an hour of me painting that up there. So, you know, one side, you're welcome. But the other side of the coin is, you know, you did miss the funniest joke that you've ever heard in your life. So anyways, we're moving on. And uh, yeah, we're doing the mouth and then we're going to do the eyes and then we're going to do the orb thing. And then we're going to, uh, you know, I don't know, make the best painting in the world. You guys are going to like it and subscribe and love me forever and join my Patreon. Link is in the description. Yeah, seriously, though, I can't believe I did that. I like forgot to delete a bunch of stuff. So I ran out of disk space and then I I've never had it happen. Running out of disk space and the whole recording gets corrupted. Boom. But you know what? You live and you learn. I, I, I guess this is just my life now. Yeah, that's not really enough for the tongue. So I think we're going to take, yeah, we'll take this color. And I think we're going to make it just a little bit lighter on top and we'll blend that in. I think that'll help give it just a little bit of depth. I, I'm not going to bother, you know, with the, the inside of the mouth doing anything darker back there. I mean, I bring it up because I think I should, but I'm not gonna. Let's just blend this here. I think this will really help. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can go around this. All right, there we go. Clean up some of the edges there. Nice. And let's see about taking a smaller brush here and see if we can just make this tooth and teeth nice. There we go. That's a good mouth and tooth. So now I think we got to do these eyes. Let's see. We're going to need, uh, I think we're going to need to grab some new colors, aren't we? I think we are. I think we are. We'll start with the light stuff this time. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And we'll fill it all in. And the next color. Really, it would have made a lot more sense to do the eyes, uh, you know, before I did the hair and the hat. But, you know, I like to do the eyes towards the end because the eyes are, you know, the, the windows to the soul. They're the soul of the painting and yada yada. I like to do them last or, well, close to last. I mean, we still got to do, you know, we still got to do down here and then the, the, the extra special thing I'm going to do to the rest of the painting. The eyes really help, like, bring it all together when we do it. That's why I like to, you know, I kind of save it for last. And it's, you know, it's good for content. Right? Right. And we'll go on to the last color here. Beautiful. Now we'll just do our, our patented blending technique. I don't know why I say patented. I'm sure a lot of people that play this game do this, right? I don't know. I don't really get a chance uh, to look at enough other people's art. I really do wish with the uh, with the 1.0 update though that they you know would have done something to where you could you know sh share or upload your gallery so uh, you know it, people can visit other players' galleries and and see the work that they've done and, and show them off for other people. I really think that would have been a really cool addition to the game, but I, I have no idea how difficult it is. I, I'm not I'm not you know beseeching the uh, the developers for doing everything they could with the game because <laughs> by all means. They absolutely crushed it with this game, but I don't know. It just would have been a really nice, you know, and, and cool thing to see. But I suppose, I mean, as of right now, the game has no online functionality, so that would be uh, a, a huge undertaking to add that, right? Right. Really, what I'm saying is I just want to show off my art for everybody. I mean, everybody that doesn't watch my videos, which is everybody already, right? Everybody watches my videos. I'm the most popular YouTuber in the history of the YouTubes. Eat your heart out, Mr. Beast. God dang it, this is looking good. I especially like this bottom transition. Like it's, it, it seems really subtle, you know what I mean? 
like it's, it doesn't seem like it's a huge difference between the uh, the the medium yellow and the and the brightest. Yeah, these ones are blending really good. It's a little bit more stark of a contrast up there, but down here, yeah, it's very nice, very nice. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. Now I think we'll dry it here, and we gotta add the nose and the eyes. So the nose. Oh boy, I kind of messed up on where the nose was before. I think the nose was just right here, and I think we were just doing this, right? Yeah, I think that'll work. And now the eyes. Ooh, I really should have kept those eye lines, but I think they were. Let's go to the center. Curve a little bit towards the outside here. Go like that. Nice, okay, I think that looks good. Now it's very subtle, but I just want to give just a little bit of eye shine on here. Not a lot, just add a white blob here and blend it in a little bit. Nice, and then now we can do our orb. So I'm actually gonna do more white towards the middle of it and then the outside here will have the, uh, I think this color yellow. So let's see here. We gotta make a very nice and smooth top. Do we get it? Is that nice and smooth? No, I think I think this side can go a little bit more out. There we go. Yeah, I think that's pretty good actually. So now I actually think using that color here before I do the next color, because we are going to end up doing this yellow next, but before we go to that, I think we're gonna grab this spray paint here of this color. And I wanna add just a little bit of a glow around this. You know what I mean? Like, man, that glow looks good. Doing it from very far away because I kinda want, I, I, I wanted to spread a bit, but you know, by doing it closer, we're, we're, we're you know, contracting it inwards as much as we can. I, I, I don't know, I, I'm picking words, okay? I, I'm just doing things. But ultimately, yeah, that looks like a very good glow. I like it, I like it a lot. That, that, wor that worked out exactly how I thought it was gonna work out. I am a genius. So now we do the next level of yellowness. Then we'll add the white here in the middle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this brush, that'll work. There's some nice blends on this. See how nice of a transition that is? Oh man, that looks good. That looks good, especially with the glow. I love it. So now one of the last things that I wanted to do here, the special thing that I mentioned, well, the glow was one of the special things, but then I also wanted to use some black here to kind of diffuse the outer edges of, uh, of some of the background here, just so this kind of fades a little bit into the background. Implies that, uh, you know, the, the, the dark detail or, or the details disappear into the darkness. Then with just the final little signature, we can be all done. That we have our completed painting of Nico from One Shot. Thank you so much for the suggestion, Fate B. I, uh, I hope this did your suggestion justice. I think it turned out really good. Uh, you know, overall we had some uh, some technical difficulties <laughs> with the video, but I, I think in the end, uh, you know, we, we got a, a beautiful masterpiece here and some uh, you know some high quality entertainment for you folks. So if you agree, do me a favor, leave it uh, the video a thumbs up, and do consider subscribing if you want to see more by me in the future. And if you have a suggestion that you want to see in a future video, leave it in the comments down below, or you can join our Discord and leave it there as well. We have a, a active community here of you know such artists and wobble doggians and many folks here right, from all walks so i'm gonna call it right here i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day thank you so much for sticking it out to the end kaz out peace